Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now, from deep in the darkest forests of northern Minnesota, the show you waited for. This is Grizzlies Loud. And I am honored to present our host, the man, the mystery, the legend. This is Grizzly. This is Grizzly's Growls, episode uh, 19, and this is Grizzly. Came across a couple of songs I wanted to share with y'all, and, well, there's a couple other things going on, too. I, uh, <laughs> I decided that I liked the one show that I did with, you know, the three, well, three or four pieces of music from, uh, from the Raven Tones, and I like that longer format, but it, that takes an awful lot of space, and quite frankly, the way I had my, uh, my hosting set up, I didn't have enough room for doing longer shows like that, so I decided I wanted to do more of those and cover more music and uh, and say more if I had more to say. I'd do more shows if I wanted to. So I expanded things a little bit, spending a little bit more money per month, but uh, I think it's, for me anyway, I don't know about you for y'all, but for me it's worthwhile. So I expanded things and uh, I can do more more shows if I want to so I think I just might either that or longer ones sometimes anyway that's the one thing but also I was listening to a couple of things I've been poking around on the couple of sites I've got where I can get music and be pretty confident that I'm not going to get sued or attacked by the RIAA or what not for playing the music and I came across some stuff I liked and I thought you know this this is worth talking about. Now, of course, I'm, you know, I'm a big karaoke dude. <laughs> the king of karaoke, if you will. But, um, as, as I laughingly say, but I mean it completely seriously. Anyway, um, and I like it when pe- somebody really, really wails on a song, just nails the son of a gun. And uh, I came across somebody who does that. So, and uh, so two songs I got for you today. Both of them from the same artist, uh, Teresa James, Teresa James and the Rhythm Tramps, actually. But uh, the first one reminded me of something that I don't do often enough. I've never, I don't really thank my friends for being my friends because I know that it is very hard to be my friend. It is a struggle. It is very hard. Because I'm, you know, I'm usually rude and obnoxious, and I tend to, in the middle of a conversation, walk away, you know, go off to do something else. I'm done talking now. See ya. I didn't even say that much. And uh, and I know how hard that is to to cope with. And um, well, I ought to say thank you more often. And I found a song that says it probably the way that most suits me and my peeps, my homies because we're all just regular people and I think an awful lot of these, you know, thank you for types of songs tend to be all about how noble and wonderful and perfect everybody is and quite frankly well, good people all good people, the people that I know, my friends are all good people but pretty much normal pretty much normal and I thought that uh this one, if you just listen carefully to the to the words on uh, "May You Never," um, you'll know what I mean. It just—it's not about being perfect, but I wish the best for you, and I thank you for being my friends. But <laughs> ain't none of it what's perfect. So, anyway, here's a "May You Never" and. May you enjoy it. Wait. 
just like a big strong brother to me, and you know that I love you truly, and you're never talking dirty behind my back. Oh yeah, but I know it's those that do. And won't you please, won't you please, won't you bear it in mind? Love is a lesson that we learn. See what I meant there. May you never lose your temper when you get in a barroom fight. Yeah, normal people. Don't see, don't hear that too much in country anymore. You're not supposed to have too too many normal people. Either really wild fighters or real peaceful and mellow and loving people. And there's peaceful and mellow and loving people who occasionally get into the barroom fight thing, too, every now and again. So, that's what I love about that one. Now, the other one I come across, same artist, same album, actually. They've got an album out. Um, reminds me, kind of, although it's really not about that, but it kind of <laughs> reminds me of... Um, well, some of the, probably my favorite karaoke place, and I do have three of them I go to. I go to TJ's Champions in Superior, and uh, Android, and Frankie's, and of course everybody knows which one is my favorite. But um, it reminds me of all of them, kind of, in a way. Uh, and it reminds me of uh, the kind of message that you get in, in a really good karaoke place. You know, I mean, people see the 
usually when everybody but anybody on t- TV is talking about karaoke they show shots of uh, some Japanese guys singing American songs badly in some Japanese bar in some Japanese town but um, no, karaoke is an American thing too it's probably more an American thing in America than it is in it's ever been a Japanese thing in America you know I mean I've never gotten into the whole sushi thing I don't really get what that's all about but <laughs> this is something that has really become an American thing it's kind of a carryover from the old uh, piano bars back in the day. I actually did the whole car- the whole piano bar thing a long, long time before there ever was any karaoke in this country. And uh, I don't know, different places have different environments and different atmospheres. But uh, and albeit this song is about something completely different than bars and places where you go sing karaoke. It, I don't know what kind of conveys some of the tone and some of the uh, some of the energy that I think is in some of the best uh, and some of the best karaoke bars that I've been in, and I've been in a few in a number of different places over the years. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's and, and the nice thing too is that I mean this lady really seriously wails on the whole blues thing. It's it's. With the country tone, but it's very, really very much a blues, blues thing, and uh, not just bluesy, you know, not just somebody doing something fairly conventional that has kind of a blues thing going with it, but it's it's blues, you know, it's blues as far as I am concerned. Possibly in some well, no, nah, I won't go there, but uh, yeah, you know. It's it's all about the blues. It's all about really putting 110% or, well, shit, 100% is good enough as far as I'm concerned. Putting everything you got into what you're singing. And she does that. And I'm, I, I don't know this Teresa James woman. I'd like to meet her someday. Find out what all that's about. I like this one. It's, um, it's called Come Up and See Me Sometime. Of course, taken from the line from... Uh, May West, you know, which is a, a bluesy context in its own right, really. And uh, I miss May West. I wish we had more people like May West around. We don't really have too many. But uh, yeah, I just I love the way this woman sings. I want to get the album myself. I may never do it because I ain't got no damn money to spend on this stuff. But uh, yeah. I like what she does, and I'm impressed with it, and I think you won't be impressed with it, too. As I said, it's called uh, Come Up and See Me Sometime. Here you go.
Well then, now you see what I mean. If that doesn't describe the place that you're going when you're not working, then maybe you're going to the wrong place. <laughs> in uh, at least in my terms, you go, you gotta go where you gotta go and do what you gotta do. But uh, for me, that's about right. Come up and see me sometime. I mean, heck, if you're up in the northern Minnesota area or northern Wisconsin, and whatnot, and wondering around Superior, looking for a good karaoke place in the middle of the night on a Friday or Saturday, or well, I go out th- uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you're out Wednesdays, Frankies, tu- uh, Thursdays, TJ's Champions, Fridays, and boy, especially Ant- well, no, I don't, I don't want to be, be too favorite, favorite, favoristic. Anyway, I don't want to pick one. Uh, they're all my favorites. You're all my children. I just admire you all deeply. But, um, yeah, I love them all. But that's the kind of tone that I think a bar ought to have. If you're going to do karaoke in particular, it all ought to be about putting 100% out there and putting 100% in there, and it all ought to be about doing your best. I mean, that's the best kind of karaoke. I mean, you go out and you do the best you can. You know, when you sing, if you're not brilliant at it, while you sing your song and you get, you know, your little stagey and whatnot, kick your feet up a little bit, that's cool, that's fine. I mean, piano bar, that was all about everybody singing along, that's cool too, but you know, just having fun with it, that's what it's supposed to be about. And that's what I love about that song, come up and see me. So, I mean, hey, if you're up in Spear... I don't sing karaoke in Duluth so far, but I've been thinking about picking up a Saturday place, too, which is probably going to be over on the Duluth side of things. But, um, yeah, just come up and see me sometime. You know, hey, I'll say hi. Of course, if you've been listening to the other shows, you'll know I will, probably won't say any more than that, but I will say hi. Anyway, yeah. No, uh, Jake was actually asking me about uh, whether, how the fishing trip thing went, and uh, it was pretty cool. You know, we we took the boat out. I, I, I kept uh, reminding my, my sister that uh, kind of a shakedown cruise. We hadn't been out since before uh, Donnie uh, passed. But, um, yeah, we uh, we got out there. We learned a few things. <laughs> like, for example, it wasn't exactly as easy as we thought it was to get the boat out into the water. And getting it back out of the water again was kind of an adventure. Then there was the part where the the uh, the uh, bow line, the mooring line up there came loose and almost got wrapped around the propeller on the motor. But, uh, so we learned about that. And now we know that we do need to lubricate the hubs on the trailer periodically. But, um, yeah, it was, it was cool. I got the first fish. I got the best fish. Well, it was a bass, you know. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, not big. A decent size, and uh, we, had, we had fun going out fishing. Anyway, this tour wasn't, of course, wasn't about fishing. It was just about me uh, introducing you to me, jumping out in random intervals and um, talking about whatever music I happen to come across, which I'll probably do more of because I got more room on the show on the on the little hosting site now. So anyway. Then that's all i got to say about that for the moment. Uh, if you do have any comments, certainly feel free to stop by the website, grizzly.libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N, which is, by the way, short for Liberated Syndication, libsyn.com. And, um, yeah, or you can email me, grizzly at grizzly.podzone.org, which goes into my own little mail server at home there. Um, otherwise, feel free to call by the, call the command line. It's still working. It's 206-339-GRIZ. That is 206-339-4749. Other than that, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Might even be as soon as this weekend. And happy July 4th if you happen to celebrate that stuff. And otherwise, have a good summer, and we'll talk to you a little bit down the road here. Take care. Oh, and a shout-out to my... Uh, Somebody that I grew up uh, listening to, Eddie Williams, on KL Radio. Eddie? Toodly-doo.